Hello, in today's video we're going to be putting together the 18650 Tramper battery pack. They are the latest in battery technology. They don't use spot welding to connect individual cells, which allows you to purchase cells locally. And if a cell goes bad one day, you can swap out individual cell groups in no time at all. There is no wiring involved, everything is PCB based, making them neat, tidy and clean. They incorporate the very latest BMS technology, using the same chipset used by Tesla. They feature a self-monitoring system, as well as several temperature sensors and a humidity sensor inside the enclosure, which can all be monitored by the BESC app. Not only can you monitor the pack by the app, you can also start and stop cell balancing, even if you are not plugged into a charger, and stop and start charging if you are. The pack capacity is roughly one kilowatt hour, depending on your choice of cells. It will take just over an hour and a half to charge to 100% with a 12 amp charger. These are all specs on the 18650 pack. For full information on the 21700 pack, visit the page on the Tramper website. So that's a small insight to the pack, but who can buy it? Due to shipping, depending on where in the world you're ordering from, you'll be able to order different variants. If you are in the UK and purchasing a full board, depending on your choice, you'll get either the 18650 or 21700 pack, fully assembled and in the battery box, with the cells included. Though, if you are buying a battery pack separately without a board, only the 18650 pack comes fully assembled. The 21700 pack does not. This is due to the base of the pack being the actual base of the battery box. These options mentioned are sales included options for the UK customers only. Customers outside the UK, unfortunately, cannot purchase any pack with sales included. When purchasing a full board with the battery pack outside the UK, it will come partly assembled, ready for you to slide in the sales. If customers outside the UK purchase either of the packs separately, without a board, they will both come flat packed and you'll have to assemble it yourself. That's what we're going to show you how to do today. This product must be operated with caution, common sense and in harmony with any regulations in place. Usage requires mechanical and electrical ability and training. Failure to operate the product in a safe and responsible manner could result in injury or damage to the product or other property. Read the entire instruction manual available on the HQ on the website to become familiar with the device and its features before operating. With all that out of the way, let's get into how to assemble the pack. In this tutorial we'll be covering the 18650 pack. The 21700 pack has some differences, though for the most part the assembly is the same. Check the 21700 manual on the website for more details. The tools you need are as follows, a T10 Torx, a 6mm spanner and some medium strength threadlock. It will also help if you have to hand scissors, isopropyl alcohol and a cloth. When you receive your disassembled battery pack, you will get one spring panel, two cell spacer panels, one base panel, one lower battery circuit board, one upper battery circuit board, one nine pin board to board interconnection cable, one 40 centimeter length of shrink tube, 24 65 millimeter hex spacers, 24 M3x12 screws, 24 M3x8 screws. The first thing to do is mount all 24 hex spacers to the base panel. Use medium strength thread lock to lock them all in place. Make sure all the hex bases are perfectly parallel to the long side of the base panel. Next, slide on the lower circuit board. If it doesn't slide on easily, realign the hex bases. The lower circuit board must rest totally flat on the base panel. The next step is to clean all the battery contacts with ethanol or isopropyl alcohol. Be careful not to touch them once cleaned. After this, 
place 10 mm long shrink tube spaces onto each corner and one on the central hex spacer. Then slide the lower cell spacer into position. This can take some perseverance. Then slide over 41mm length of shrink tube. These need to be on the same hex spaces as the 10mm shrink tubes before. Next, slide the upper cell spaces into position. Then 5 more 10mm long shrink tube spaces on each corner and one in the middle. Now onto the cells. First thing to do is check them all. They must all be the same type, age, wear and charge level. Never use damaged cells. Once checked, clean all the battery poles with isopropyl alcohol. Then insert the cells in their groups. The groups 1 to 12 are shown on the PCBs. Make sure to pay close attention to the polarity. Once they're all in place, double check the polarity by comparing the cells with the upper PCB. Once happy with that, position the upper circuit board and spring panel. Make sure to align the PCB carefully. Do not shift sideways during the assembly. Add the 12mm long screws with thread lock. Tighten carefully until the centre of the spring lowers and the tips bend up slightly. Finally, connect the lower and upper circuit boards with a 9 pin connection. And that's it, the battery pack is now built and ready to be connected up to a vest and put in a board. For more information, check the battery pack manual on the Trample website. Any questions, put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.